Uh, Mike, I just want to open it up by saying, you know, they've heard they've heard Dave and I talk about Don West, but who better to to tell us about who Don West was th- than you? And I just kind of wanted to open the floor and and let you talk about Don. Well, thank you. Um, you know, Don West, and everybody goes to this card, the larger-than-life personality, Don was the definition of that, a definition of larger-than-life personality, and he had a heart to match. Uh, I think, as you guys can see by the social media reaction, uh, universally loved by everybody that worked with him, and I think equally respected, even by those who didn't work with him. We've seen by TV tributes from both the WWE, which I have to say was a very pleasant surprise, and by AEW. Um, In the wrestling business, I think it's just by the nature of the business, you make a lot of great acquaintances, but very few great friends. And that's exactly what he was. And I think our mutual friend, Craig Jenkins, that worked with us at uh, DNA and Impact, I think he says it best. He, he always says, we loved him like a brother. Dave? Yes. Um, I mean, it's really interesting because, you know, you and I talked about him uh, a couple days ago. And um, it's... It's, you know, I mean, he was somebody who really, I mean, like you, you kind of was his, he was his mentor on wrestling. He came in because somebody had seen him, you know, hawking merchandise. Vince Russo saw him hawking merchandise and thought that he would be a a good addition to the business and came in kind of um, years later, actually came in when uh, TNA started with you, you know, on day one, he had done, I guess, one uh, practice show, and then you and him were doing live pay per view every week. Uh, you know, I mean, it was it with you know, so, I mean, he came in, he came in as cold as you could be, probably colder than almost anyone that's ever done a live pay per view. You know, um, I, I think that's a great point. Um, my son Eric was a big fan of Don West before he got into wrestling, and I have to admit that I really was not aware of Don from the shop at home stuff. And Don and I always used to do a, the old Smothers Brothers routine about how mom always liked you best because (laughs) my own son, my own son liked him better than me. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Yeah. um, Right right away we hit it off. I, I remember it was a, my first real meeting with him was the the drive that we made together down to uh, Huntsville, Alabama, I think it was, for the first TNA show. And uh, just a couple of days before that, Burt Prentice had promoted a show at the uh, fairgrounds in Nashville. And uh, I had agreed to come in and be the lead announcer for TNA and Jerry Jarrett had given me a call just a couple of days before that. I think it was a Saturday that they did the show. And Jerry had said to me that Bert was running the show on Saturday night, and we would like for you and Don West and Ed Ferrara do a practice run. And I said to Jerry, I said, uh, are, are, a practice run, are, are you going to pay me for the practice run? Uh, and Jerry said, no. And I told him, I said, Jerry, I don't need any practice. I'll be there Wednesday night and I'll be there ready to go. As I look back on it, I kind of wish that I had done that for, for really one reason. And that's because I could have been there to see Don West first night in the wrestling business. And it's a crazy night. He, he probably told me the story, Dave, dozens of times going forward and that was the night at the fairgrounds in nashville where jim Cornette sort of went ballistic i guess you'd say on one ed ferrara in relationship to 
what Ed had done with the Oklahoma character that had been mocking Jim Ross. And if you can imagine, you are starting this new job. This is your first day in the business. You're in the fairgrounds for just a matter of minutes. And you walk in and you see this going on. And it had to probably be, I think it had to be unnerving at first to Don. But as much as he told the story going forward, you just knew that he realized that he was getting into something that, much like his personality, which we always say is that larger than life personality, he was getting into that kind of a business. And uh, what a fit, right? What a fit. As, as far as mentoring Don, I think the mechanics of it, that was the minor stuff. Um, the mechanics as far as when to lay out, when to let the play-by-play guy take over, when to uh, be, always be aware of the possibility of a pin attempt, just little things like that. That's something that you can pretty much get anybody up and going with in, in a short amount of time, I hope. And he would mention to me many times that I helped him, I think, a lot more with the, the landmines of the wrestling business and things to avoid, people to avoid. So as far as being a mentor to him, he picked it up essentially right from the start. He would watch uh, some WWE TV or some other things that he could find, videos and the like, to try and get himself up and running in regards to that. Uh, So I... It, it, it would be hard for me to say that I mentored him in the wrestling announcing side of things because he had his own style. But I, I think I taught him a lot about what to expect and what to watch out for. But did you know that in January, WWE presents the Royal Rumble on the show will be what is being called a pitch black match? Why, you ask? Well, Mountain Dew... Apparently has a drink called Mountain Dew Pitch Black. And they got a lot of money. If it's all blacked out and nothing happens, we're actually the winners because, you know, we don't have to actually watch it. Jared, put a black thing on the screen here. It's It would be like if the match led was like this for 10 minutes, and all you heard was, oh, ow, boom. Oh. No, Mike, stop it. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.